I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons, my Biblio Spran, Biblio Howlers, and Biblio Mansers. Thank you so much for supporting my hobby and passion even more. It means so much to me. Hi everyone, Patek here. Today's video will be a book review and this will be a book review of Parable of the Sower by Octavia Butler. Or to be more precise, this is just my impression and thoughts upon reading this novel, this classic, for the first time. And I think Parable of the Sower is hard to put down, it is harrowing, and it is much darker than I expected it would be. It is most likely that any praises I give this book has been mentioned by someone else. But I haven't checked any reviews on this novel yet and I want to convey my brief thoughts upon reading this book for the first time. I have one word to summarize my thoughts and my feelings of reading Parable of the Sower for the first time. Shocking. It is shocking. I am surprised by how good this was. I am shocked by how dark it was, and I am astounded by how prophetic and relevant it was. For these reasons, among many, the Earthsea duology by Octavia Butler has been praised and hailed as a classic dystopian sci-fi novel by many readers and critics around the world. And I cannot disagree with this, but I will also voice this. It is sad. It is sad that Parable of the Sower is remembered and praised for its continuous relevancy to the state of our world. It shouldn't be this way. I will explain my reasoning later. That's all anybody can do right now. Live, hold out, survive. I don't know whether good times are coming back again, but I know that won't matter if we don't survive these times. Parable of the Sower is the first book in Earthsea duology, and the story begins in the year 2024. Yes, not long from now. The story revolves around Lauren Olamina and her family, who lives in one of the only safe neighborhoods remaining on the outskirts of Los Angeles. Lauren, her father, and plenty of other citizens are trying to salvage what remains of a culture, if it still can be called that. Their civilization is ravaged by drugs, wars, disease, chronic water shortages, and many more. Survival is getting harder each day, and to make things more difficult, Lauren is struggling with hyper-empathy a condition that makes her extraordinarily sensitive to the pain of others. I went into Parable of the Sower as blind as possible. For whatever reason, I somehow managed to avoid knowing anything about the plot of this duology, even though this book was first published 29 years ago. And as mentioned at the beginning of this review, I was surprised by what I found here. Parable of the Sower is a ruthless story told from the first-person narration or diary of Lauren Olamina. It is a dark novel about civilization spiraling into chaos, hatred, and unlimited violence, but it is also a story about fate, family, hope, and community. The world is full of painful stories. Sometimes it seems as though there aren't any other kind, and yet I found myself thinking how beautiful that glint of water was through the trees. It is worth noting that Parable of the Sower is not an easy read, and I am not talking about the accessibility of the prose. Butler's prose was engaging, accessible, and vivid. Honestly, I struggled a bit in the first quarter of the novel. The early sections of Parable of the Sower have minimum dialogues and actions. It felt like I was reading a stream of consciousness. Fortunately, this situation eased quickly after the first quarter, and I couldn't put the book down after that to the end. The characterization of Lauren and the various characters she met were superbly written. I felt like I've gotten to know every one of them, and I know many hardship await the characters further from this book, but I eagerly look forward to reading the continuation of their stories. However, despite the easy flow of the prose, Parable of the Sower was uncomfortable to read for its merciless brutality and applicability to our world. Parable of the Sower is not a big book. At 116,000 words, you can probably read this relatively small novel in probably two or three days. But please do not ever take its small size to mean the book was lagging in its massive impact. Far from it, the topics, events, and issues discussed in the novel are insanely dark, violent, and sadly relatable to our civilization. I went into this book as blindly as possible, and still, I wouldn't have expected the book to be this violent. It is one of the darkest books I've read. This isn't to say that I haven't read other novels darker or more brutal than this one. I have many times. But what made the chaos in Parable of the Soul so terrifying is its believability. These devastating events have happened, whether in America or around the world. Speaking from my own experience, I have survived and witnessed something similar to the deadly riots portrayed in Parable of the Sower. 
Those who live in Indonesia, especially Jakarta, will know what I'm talking about. Yes, I am talking about the May 1998 riots in Indonesia. I won't go into details on this event. You can look it up on the internet if you haven't heard about it. But from my experience, suffice to say, Butler has captured the vivid insanity, fear, and nightmare situation of this kind of massive unrest in her writing. It is truly incredible for its frightening relevancy resonating themes and believable characters and also engaging prose i have to really applaud butler for the creation of this novel in 1993 too but at the same time it is a tragedy to our world that the events in parable of the sower can be considered as relevant to us for so many years it shouldn't be this novel deserve its classic status Totally, it totally deserved it. But the moment Parable of the Sower is stopped being considered as a classic for its relevancy to our world, I believe that is when our world has ascended, our world and civilization has ascended to a better place. Will that ever happen? I am not sure. Probably never, no one can predict it. But Parable of the Sower teaches us that nothing is constant in our life except change. God is change. No good thing stays, no bad thing lasts forever. The only certain thing is changes, but no matter how hard it is, we have the power to adapt ourselves to every change we encounter. I am thoroughly impressed by this novel, and I am both terrified and excited to read the continuation of this novel, Parable of the Talon, most likely within next month. So, so yeah, that's my short review for Parable of the Sower. If you have read this book, uh, do let me know whether you love this book or not. This was the first time I read through this novel, and you know what? Seriously, I am, I am impressed. And I cannot believe that it took me uh, 29 years, 29 years after this book was published before I finally well, before I finally read it. But hey, better late than never, right? So yeah, that's it for me today. Do let me know your thoughts on this novel if you have read it. And if you haven't, do you plan to read this book someday? As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me.